The following video has been produced by Horizon Health Network to help people taking warfarin learn more about their medicine. Please feel free to pause or rewind and re-listen to the information at any time. This video is not intended to replace the advice of your health care providers. Please talk to your doctor, nurse, or pharmacist if you have any questions about your warfarin therapy. Hi, my name is Danielle and I'm a pharmacist here at the hospital. Today we are going to be discussing the medication warfarin. You are probably watching this video because you have been prescribed warfarin for the first time. Warfarin is an anticoagulant. It is a drug used to lower your risk of having a blood clot. Warfarin is also known as a blood thinner. Usually you form blood clots when there has been an injury to your body, like if you cut yourself. Some health conditions may cause you to form blood clots when there is no injury. This is dangerous because blood clots can cause the following conditions. Stroke, deep vein thrombosis, which is also known as a blood clot in your leg, pulmonary embolism, which is a blood clot in your lungs, and heart attack. Health conditions that may increase your risk of blood clots include atrial fibrillation, which is an irregular heartbeat, ischemic heart disease or previous heart attack, artificial heart valve, and some genetic conditions. People with these conditions may take warfarin to reduce their risk of having a blood clot. Now that we know what warfarin is and how it works, let's talk about some of the basics of warfarin therapy. Warfarin is taken once a day at the same time every day. Some people may only need to take warfarin for a few months, while others may need to take it for a much longer period. It is important to take warfarin exactly the way your doctor tells you to. Stopping warfarin or missing doses may increase your risk of having a blood clot. Do not stop warfarin without talking to your doctor. If you miss a dose, take it as soon as you remember. If you are close to your next dose, skip the missed dose and continue on as normal. Do not double your warfarin dose. If you miss more than two doses in a row, contact your doctor for instructions on what to do. Warfarin comes in different strengths. Each strength tablet is a different color. Make sure you know what your pills look like and don't be afraid to ask questions if they look different. Always keep warfarin out of the reach of children. The amount of warfarin needed to prevent a clot is different for every person. Your dose may be different from a friend's or a family member's. To find out what dose of warfarin you need, we do a blood test called the International Normalized Ratio, or INR. The usual target range is 2 to 3. Patients with artificial heart valves or other medical conditions may have a higher target of 2.5 to 3.5. An INR blood test is a measure of how fast your blood clots. Your doctor will decide your INR range. Your warfarin dose is adjusted based on your INR range. If your INR is below your target range, you are at risk of blood clots and your dose will be increased. If your INR is above your target range, your warfarin dose is too high and you are at a risk of bleeding and your dose may be decreased. When you first start taking warfarin, you may need blood tests every couple of days. When your INR reaches target range and stays within this range, blood tests will be less often. Most people who are taking warfarin need blood tests at least once a month. Ask your doctor what your INR target range is and how often you need blood tests. Bleeding is the most common side effect of warfarin. It is important that you know the signs and symptoms of bleeding and what to do. People over the age of 65 may be more sensitive to warfarin and may be at more risk of bleeding. Minor bleeding is common and may include bleeding gums while brushing your teeth, occasional nosebleeds, easy bruising, and for women, menstrual bleeding that is a little heavier than normal. Tell your doctor about any minor bleeding at your next appointment. Signs of major bleeding that require immediate medical attention include large bruises or tender swelling for no reason, severe headache, coughing or vomiting blood, bleeding from cuts that does not stop within 10 minutes, nosebleeds that last more than 15 to 20 minutes, swelling and tenderness or pain in your abdomen, bowel movements that are red or look like tar, red, dark, coffee or cola colored urine, severe back pain for no reason. If you experience any signs of major bleeding, 
contact your doctor or go to the emergency room as soon as possible. You should also contact your doctor as soon as possible if you have the following. Diarrhea or fever and chills for more than one to two days. Swelling of feet and lower legs for more than one to two days, especially if it is painful. Yellow discoloration of the eyes or skin. Dizziness, trouble breathing, chest pain or feelings of weakness. A serious fall or hitting your head or any changes to your general health. Many drugs can interact or change the way warfarin works. Drugs that interact with warfarin may include vitamins, herbal medications, and prescription or non-prescription drugs. Drug interactions can happen when you start or stop a drug. Antibiotics used to treat infections can increase or decrease the effect of warfarin. Always ask your doctor or pharmacist if you need extra INR testing when you start or stop an antibiotic. Aspirin, ASA, ibuprofen, Advil, Motrin, naproxen or Aleve may increase your risk of bleeding and it is best to avoid these drugs unless your doctor tells you to take them. If you need something for pain, acetaminophen or Tylenol is okay. Do not take more than 2,000 milligrams of acetaminophen or four extra strength Tylenol tablets per day unless your doctor tells you to do so. Before starting or stopping a drug, talk to your doctor or pharmacist and ask if you will need extra INR testing. Always remind your doctors, dentists, nurses, and other healthcare providers that you are taking warfarin. Now, let's talk about how warfarin may affect your lifestyle. Warfarin may harm an unborn baby. Do not take warfarin if you are pregnant or planning to become pregnant. You may have heard that food can affect warfarin. It's true that vitamin K in some foods may affect how well your warfarin works. Vitamin K plays a role in how your blood clots and changes to the amount of vitamin K in your diet may affect your INR. Dark green vegetables like asparagus, broccoli, fiddleheads, lettuce, spinach contain vitamin K. You do not need to avoid these foods but you should try to eat the same amount each day. For example, if you always have a half a cup of dark green vegetables per day, try to do this every day. If you are thinking about making big changes to your eating habits, talk to your doctor or pharmacist and ask if you need to have your INR tested. Good nutrition is important for your health. Taking warfarin doesn't mean you can't eat green vegetables, but you should not make big changes to your diet without talking to your doctor or dietitian. Alcohol can also affect your INR. People taking warfarin should avoid or limit themselves to one or two drinks per day. One drink equals one pint of beer, four ounces of wine, or one ounce of hard liquor. Be sure to tell your doctor if you make big changes to the amount of alcohol you drink because your dose of warfarin may need to be adjusted. While you are taking warfarin, you can continue to be active and enjoy the things you love to do. It is important to be careful since warfarin can prevent your blood from clotting after an injury. You can still do things like jogging, walking, swimming, and cycling. Just be careful not to hurt yourself. Always report any serious injury to your doctor. Housework and gardening are also fine. Just take care not to cut yourself or fall. Contact sports can be dangerous for people taking warfarin and it is best to avoid them. It is important that all your health care providers know that you take warfarin. This includes massage therapists, physiotherapists, home care workers, as well as your dentist, nurse, doctor and pharmacist. Remember to tell your dentist that you are on warfarin, especially if you are planning on having dental work done. Make sure to let your doctor know if you are going on a trip because you may need an INR test done while you are away. It is a good idea to have a wallet card or a medic alert necklace or bracelet that tells people you are taking warfarin. This is important because if anything should happen to you, emergency health care workers need to know you are on warfarin. A medication calendar is a great idea to help you to keep track of your warfarin dose and INR as well as any changes in your diet, exercise routine, any missed doses or any side effects of warfarin. Some people also use a medication dosette to help remember when to take warfarin. There are many simple ways to avoid bleeding and bruising while on warfarin. 
Use an electric razor instead of a blade to shave. Use a soft bristled toothbrush. Use a wax dental floss and floss gently. Do not use toothpicks. Use non-slip mats in your shower to prevent slips and falls and remove throw rugs. Wear shoes or non-slip slippers in your house. Take care trimming your toenails and do not trim corns or calluses. Be careful using knives or scissors. Always wear shoes outside. Wear gloves when gardening. Wear eye protection while playing racket sports. And wear a helmet while bicycling or inline skating. Avoid blowing your nose forcefully. I hope this video has answered most of your questions about warfarin. To summarize, the key points covered in this video are Warfarin is an anticoagulant that is used to prevent the formation of harmful blood clots. Take warfarin once a day at the same time every day. It is very important to have your INR done regularly. Become familiar with the strength and color of your warfarin pills. Do not take warfarin if you are pregnant or planning to become pregnant. If you suspect you are pregnant, contact your doctor right away. Contact your doctor immediately or go to the emergency room if you have any signs of serious bleeding. Many drugs can change the effect of warfarin. Always ask your doctor or pharmacist if you need extra INR testing if you are to stop or start an antibiotic or any other drug. Talk to your doctor before making big changes to your diet or exercise routine. Avoid or drink alcohol in moderation. Tell all of your health care providers that you take warfarin. Keep a wallet card or wear a medic alert bracelet. Use a medication calendar or dosette to help manage your warfarin. Always keep warfarin out of the reach of children. Thanks for listening. Please be sure to talk to your pharmacist, nurse, or doctor if you have any further questions about taking warfarin.